Uh, for those of you who don't know myself, my name is Derek Edel. Uh, I'm the assistant store manager here at 605 Running Company. And tonight I have with me Ben. He, uh, you'll most likely see him on weekends, but now with our extended evening hours on Thursday and Friday, you might see him on the evenings during the week. Um, so Ben, welcome. Glad, you're, glad to see you. Glad to see you too, Derek. Thanks for having me. Of course. Um, so yeah, this, this series is going to be the get to know us staff interview series, um, where we're just going to ask a couple quick questions to our staff, um, just to kind of familiarize everybody out there in the community with, with us in the store, um, just to build that relationship. So, you know, who you're talking to a little bit more, uh, when you come in and just to get to know us a little bit better. So first off, Ben, I just want to know, where are you from? Uh, what college did you go to? What did you go to school for? Uh, so I'm originally from um, Sioux Falls, but um, my family moved out to Madison when I was a kid. So I kind of feel like Madison, South Dakota is my, <clears throat> excuse me, my hometown growing up. Uh, I went to South Dakota State for school, um, studied history education with the intent on becoming a history teacher. Um, ended up not being a history teacher, but I do work in the exhibits office at the Courthouse Museum now. So um I guess I'm still in a somewhat educational role, at least. So, yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. You know, I can always tell how passionate you are about it um, <laughs> whenever we interact. So it's great yeah. to hear. Um, so tell us about how, how did you get into running? Um, when did you get into running? And a little bit about your history. So uh, I actually got into running when I was in college. Uh, my roommate was um, really into fitness. And I was not so much into fitness, but uh, he kind of urged me or he kind of egged me on to, to try it. So I started running in school a little bit um, whenever we would go work out at the wellness center. So it was usually like a little bit at a time and gradually built up from there. Um, so uh, it's probably, if I were to do the math, it's been close to 14 years now. Awesome. Uh, you know, it's it's interesting to hear about individuals who don't come into running, you know, through middle school or through high school. Yeah. You know, I, I'm the same exact way. I kind of got it. I'm a late bloomer. So I love yeah. hearing stories about that where you just kind of pick it up later in life and, and really get into it. Yeah. It's fun to connect with those, uh, those kind of customers and people in the community um, just because it's a really intimidating sport. And I think we've kind of all been there where it's really hard to get started. Right, um, right. Definitely and, easy. And, Sorry, yeah. go ahead. And, and so that kind of leads into the next question about how, how did you get involved with 605 Running Company and what kind of impact ha has it had in your life? So um, I kind of started a little bit going to the group runs on uh, Wednesday nights, uh, not too many of them. Um, but in early 2018, I was hired there part time. Uh, since then, I uh, I've kind of expanded my like friend group, I guess. I've uh, gotten to know a lot of really cool and interesting people. Um, uh, and uh, I used to be pretty much a almost entirely solo runner. And while part of that is still kind of true today where I run by myself quite a bit, um, I have found like a few people that I really like to, to run with. Um, However, they like to run at like seven in the morning and I cannot get up that late, uh, no matter how much I try. Uh, but I've also tested myself quite a bit uh, through coaching um, since uh, Benson is my coach. Um, it's really shown me kind of what I'm capable of doing. Uh, I was always really intimidated by longer distances. And um, through that, I've been able to, uh, or through 605 running, I've been able to uh, to participate in three marathons now. So. Awesome. Yeah. With Benson, uh, <laughs> kind of showing you the way I, I'm sure that helps build the confidence having somebody like him, you know, yeah. Yeah, exactly. 
Yeah, he's a great coach. He definitely encourages his athletes a lot. So it's, he makes it easy to get the work done. Awesome. So uh, tell us one quick fun fact about yourself. Um, whatever you want. to. <laughs> uh, so let's see. I guess the, uh, the one that I can think of um, is uh, and a little bit more current to my situation is I, um, I actually went to school also and studied German uh, and was pretty close to getting a major in German. Um, and uh, I did a study abroad in Germany where it was like a total immersion program. So after day one, uh, we lived with a family or everybody had to live with a separate family and uh, we had to converse entirely in German for uh, that program throughout the summer. Um, so uh, for after I got back, I was considered like a level like seven proficiency in German, which is like fluent for like elementary school kids. So, uh, but still retained quite a bit of the grammar and um, vocab, even though that was quite a while ago since I had to last really use it. So, right. Do you have any aspirations or dreams of going back or? Yeah. Um, it's actually been, uh, this summer will be 10 years since I was last there. Um, and I've, I've uh, been slowly trying to draft like a, an email or a letter to my post family that I lived there or uh, that I lived with while I was there. So, um, that's slowly coming together. And, um, with my history background too, and some of the things that I'm interested in, um, I felt like I wasn't able to see as much as I wanted to uh, during that program. But uh, if I were to go back on my own, it'd be really cool to kind of be able to see the places and do the things that I want. Yeah, Awesome. Yeah, I hope that you'll get the chance to go back out there. That sounds awesome, especially if you're refreshing your, your vocab and getting a little more comfortable again with it. That, yeah. That'd be great. Awesome. So uh, moving along, just have a couple now kind of quick fire questions just about your running habits, your running preferences. Um, okay. So yeah, uh, do you prefer running on the roads or running on the trails? I, I have to be pretty honest. I, I love road running quite a bit. Um, I'm sure people who follow me on Strava see that I run almost the same segment of the bike trail almost every day uh, since I work so close to the bike path so it's pretty convenient but i do like trails every once in a while to kind of change it up a little bit but uh, i'm a road runner at heart yep i i do see that that uh you go past the airport right yep yep <laughs> the north the, side of the really, trail. yep yeah the really boring section so <laughs> yeah uh, and when you're out there do you like listening to music podcasts or do you like no music and no headphones i i I prefer listening to something. Um, usually for long runs, I'll listen to podcasts, but if I'm doing like a easy, like a, like a easy day, um, that's an hour or less. I'll listen to music. Sure. Uh, favorite, uh, if you had to pick your, an, an artist, if you're just going to go on a short run, who are you going to listen to? Oof. That's tough. Um, I don't know. I'll, I'll be pretty generic and I'll just say, Radiohead. Um, hey, nothing wrong with that. Deep. Yeah, they have a pretty deep discography, so it's easy to listen to a, a variety of things. Yeah. And uh, so, it, you know, it's getting a little bit warmer now, but when it's icy and cold out, do you prefer treadmill? Or do you prefer running out in the cold? Uh, I will bundle up and run out in the cold. Um, I actually prefer the cold over the heat quite a bit. It's usually during like July and August where I kind of become a little bit of a wimp and we'll gravitate more toward the treadmill. <laughs> hey, you know, that's fair. That's fair. And uh, as far as your workouts are concerned, do you like uh, hill workouts, speed workouts or long runs? What's your favorite? Uh, I would say either long runs or speed work. Um, yeah, hills, uh, Benson's had me do the uh, Tut Hill uh, a number of times. And I feel like every single time I do that, it just kicks my butt. So, uh, we're speed work. It's still difficult and same with long runs, but, uh, yeah. um, yeah, it's, it's just a little bit of a different, uh, kind of running. Sure. 
yeah, living in Sioux Falls, you kind of have to be intentional about trying to hit hills uh, versus <laughs> living in other places, you know? Yeah, you have to seek out those like two hills, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, and so what time of day do you like to run? Morning, afternoon, night after work? Or? Uh, so I typically run either in the afternoon, usually on my lunch break at work or um, after work if I have to do something a little bit longer than an hour. Um, yeah, I'm, I used to run a lot at night, uh, but uh, like I, I tried becoming a morning runner and it just it never really happened. That's all right. So, as as yeah. long as you get it in, it's not a problem. Yep. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and uh, when you go out on your runs, do you normally go by heart rate or do you go by feel, uh, try to hit certain paces? Yeah, I, I usually go by feel. Um, the only time I really try to hit paces is if I'm doing like a tempo run or like a, like a pretty structured workout. But uh, it's usually just a, a feel. Like they, I kind of felt like hot garbage, so I went pretty slow. And yeah. Even though my heart rate was a little crazy, I think. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Just don't get a little angry note from Benson about <laughs> <laughs> yeah, overtraining or anything like that. Right, so. right. And uh, after your workouts, after your runs, what's your favorite meal? I, you know, I usually just eat a like a banana and maybe some peanut butter. But uh, after like races, uh, I love a patty melt. I don't know why. That's my favorite. Like after race uh food yeah <laughs> sounds good yeah. and uh so after speaking of races what is your favorite race distance and uh maybe a good race experience and do you have any other races uh on the calendar coming up uh so favorite race distance is kind of a weird one um it's 15.25 miles uh it's the jack 15 which is the longest continuous run running a road race in South Dakota. Uh, and uh, I don't know, it's just kind of a weird, it's just a weird race. Cause you start off in a small town of white and then you run 15 miles to Brookings and the campus at SDSU. Uh, there's literally two turns during the entire race. Uh, so I have a pretty good friend and I do that uh, every year uh, in September or October. Awesome. Yeah, I see the shirt. So, yeah, yeah, I, I had to represent. So that's yep, pretty yep. intentional. But. Perfect. Uh, yeah, I hear that's a fun one. I'd love to get out there and, and try yeah. it sometime as well. It, it's great. It's it's challenging, but it's not that. Like I don't know. It's like a it's a happy medium between a half marathon and a full marathon. And I, I think they even call it an ultra half. So <laughs> that's amazing. I love it. Yeah. I love it. Uh, so what's your, uh, favorite race shoe or favorite daily trainer shoe that you're in right now? Uh, so the one that I, I love, and that I feel like I pull for a lot of customers is, uh, the Skechers razor. Um, I am still, I'm going through my last pair of razor threes. I've ran through like five of those at this point. Um, and kind of excited to see a lot of the stuff that Skechers is coming out with the razor lineup. Um, since it seems like there's now three or four variants of the shoe, but um, yeah, I've I've sipped the Kool Aid and have dived into the, the Skechers shoes. Yeah, you and I both. Uh, yeah, I, I can't wait. The yeah, new we were just talking about that last or the other week. <laughs> right, the new Razor XS will be coming to the store soon. Um, awesome. So I can't wait to to get that on feet and and, and try that out and. Let everybody out there try that as well. It's, yeah. it's it looks like a pretty exciting shoe. So yeah, I've heard great things about it. So yeah, but anyways, that uh, is all the questions I have for you tonight. Then, right. um, and with that, unless you have any more tidbits you want to share with us, I think we can uh, close it down for tonight. Yeah, that sounds good. I don't really have anything else to add. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much for joining us. And uh, yeah, everybody, have a good night. <laughs>